everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we can talk about quadratic graphs. A quadratic graph looks like this. It's a U shape. Y equals X squared looks like this. Y equals 2X squared is a steeper version of the same graph. And then we've also got Y equals minus X squared. It's like a flipped version of the same graph. And if you have negative numbers in front of the X squared, it flips it upside down. Before we continue, you need to make sure you've watched my videos on completing the square and solving quadratics. That will be important and I'll just assume you already know how to do completing the square and solving quadratics before we continue. I'll put the links in the description just in case. A quadratic looks like y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Where there's a number in front of the x squared, that's a, there's a number in front of an x term, so there's a number times x, and there's also an, just a number added on on the end. We call those numbers a, b, and c like that, and that is a general form of a quadratic equation. The y-intercept of a quadratic equation is given by the number added on the, on the end of the quadratic, so here it's plus c, uh, which is plus 8, because this quadratic crosses at 8. The roots of the quadratic are the y-x-intercepts. So the name for x-intercepts is specifically roots. And we find the roots of a quadratic either by factorising and solving or by using the quadratic equation to find when the quadratic form quadratic is equal to zero. The vertex of a quadratic, this is where it's a minimum or a maximum. Uh, this is uh, found by completing the square. So again, you need to make sure you're perfect with completing the square before we continue. And then the final thing we can work out is the line of symmetry. This is given by the equation x equals minus b over 2a. Okay, so example one, we're going to sketch the graph of y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. To start with the equation, I'm going to note that the number on the end is plus 3. Therefore, the y-intercept of this quadratic is plus 3, and it will cross at 0 across 3 up. There. Next, we're going to look at the roots of this quadratic, and we'll factorise it as x plus 3 times x plus 1. And that means the roots, where it's equal to 0, are x equals minus 3 and x equals minus 1. You can also solve that by using the quadratic formula. So uh, x equals minus 3 and x equals minus 1 is where it crosses the x-axis. Now the vertex, we're going to complete the square. You should be able to complete the square and you should realise that it is uh, x plus 2 squared minus 1. Therefore, the vertex is minus 2 minus 1. Just remember, it's the opposite of a number in the bracket. So inside the bracket it says plus 2, therefore the x-coordinate is minus 2. The y-coordinate stays the same, it is still a number on the end of the quadratic. Therefore, the vertex is minus 2, minus 1, there. And the line of symmetry is x equals minus b over 2a. And for this quadratic, there is x squared plus 4x plus 3. a is 1 and b is 4. So therefore, we substitute uh, b is 4 and a is 1 into that equation. Minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. And so the equation of line of symmetry is x equals minus 2. And we can draw that line there where x equals minus 2. We have now filled in all the details of this quadratic, and it should be quite clear that the u-shape that fits this looks like this. And we have scratched the quadratic, we are finished. Now example 2, the following diagram shows part of the graph of the quadratic equation. The vertex and the x-intercepts are labelled. The function can be written in the form f of x equals x minus h squared plus 4k. Write down the values of h and k. Well, this just relates to the vertex. So this is completed the square form, and this always relates to the vertex. And so the numbers are uh, x minus 2 squared minus 9, because that comes from the quants of the vertex. So h equals 2 and k equals minus 9. That's a super simple answer, far simpler than it looks. 
The function f can be written in the form f of x equals x plus q, p x minus q. Find the values of p and q. So this relates to the uh, x-intercepts or the roots of the quadratic. When it's in factorised form, uh, the uh, numbers inside the brackets are the opposite of the roots. So there's, the roots is minus 1, that means one of the brackets is going to be plus 1. And the other root is plus 5, that means the inside the brackets will be minus 5. Okay, so we've got f of x uh, plus 1, f of x minus 5. We've found that uh, p is uh, plus 1 and q is uh, minus 5. Finally, it asks us to find the y-intercept of the graph of f. And we're going to expand the brackets first. x squared plus x minus 5x minus 5. We simplify it as x squared minus 4x minus 1, 5. So we've expanded the brackets successfully and made it into a normal quadratic equation. The number on the end is minus 5, and that means the y-intercept is minus 5. We are finished. We have found everything this question asks us to do. Finally, I've got example 3 here. f of x equals a times x minus 1 uh, times x plus 7. The diagram shows a sketch of the graph. Find the coordinates of the roots of f of x. Okay, this is super simple. We look at the brackets and the opposite of the brackets are x equals 1 and x equals minus 7. So therefore the roots are minus 7, 0 and 1, 0. Those are the x-intercepts or the roots of this uh, quadratic equation. Now find the value of a. Okay, so this is a bit tricky. We're going to expand the brackets first. I'm going to make it into a normal quadratic. So it's a x squared plus 6x minus 7. I'm going to expand the a now. And we get ax squared plus 6ax minus 7a. And now we can use the fact that the number on the end is the y-intercept. So minus 7a is equal to 14. We can make those two things equal to each other. So minus 7a equals 14. We divide by minus 7 and we get a equals minus 2. The, uh, a, the value of a is minus 2. And just look how we did that. We started by with the e equation it gave us. We expanded the brackets and we expanded the brackets again. And then we just compared the number on the end, the plus c, with the y-intercept. And we found that minus 7a is equal to 14. Therefore, a is minus 2. Now, finally, we're going to find the uh, coordinates of the vertex. I'm going to start with this version of the quadratic. And we're going to complete the square for this. So minus 2 times x squared plus 6x minus 7. I'm going to complete the square. You should know how to do this already, so I'm just going to go super quick here. This is completed the square form. And therefore, the coordinates of the vertex are minus 3 uh, and 32. So the vertex is minus 3, 32. Just notice that this is an upside down quadratic, it's an n shape, not a u shape, and that is why a is a negative 2. Because the number in front of the x squared is negative. Okay, so I've shown you three examples there, it's now time for you to try an example yourself. So you're going to complete the table and sketch the curve uh, for the equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. You can pause the video now and do this in your own time. This shouldn't take you about five minutes. So uh, do it yourself. And when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. That's what the equation looks like. And we draw a nice smooth sketch as well. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from Advanced Maths. And also check out our website, advancedmaths.com. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.